Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome back to week 14 of Bet the The House. House. I am your close personal friend, Dante Donatello, Michelangelo Leonardo, with my close personal friend, Felipe Cuba Libre. Libre. Felipe, is it hot in here? Is it hot in here? Is it just us? It's, It's us, man. It's us. I got to fan myself with all this. I don't know if you know this. We are eight and one in the last two weeks. If you're not listening to Dante and Felipe, you're basically just lighting money on fire and you obviously yeah. don't like getting rich. You can become a very rich man or woman when you take our advice this week. We got three more winners for you and another ho, 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 Paul. Oh give you at the end before we get into everything for the first time ever we have a real sponsor now at the house brought to you by firehouse subs don't be a meatball go get a meatball sub from firehouse subs the best sub there is i've eaten a meatball sub the last seven days breakfast lunch and dinner i could live on this stuff i'll tell you that much this is the best subs ever Best subs ever, Firehouse Subs, the official presenting sponsor of Bet the House. Go and get you a Firehouse Sub and tell them Dante and Felipe sent you. All right, let's get right into this week's games. Are you ready to make more more money, Felipe? Let's do it. Let's do it. We are very, very hot, and we're going to continue that ride this week, starting off with the Houston Texans. The oh. Houston Texans, a fumble away from possibly coming back and beating the Colts last week. The Tough. Texans minus one take on the Bears. Hear me out. Hear me out. This is my logic, Felipe. All right. Texans embarrass the Lions on Thanksgiving, correct? Correct. Texans beat the Lions. Lions then upset the Bears last week. Mm. If the Texans beat the Lions and the Lions beat the Bears, if so facto, the Texans should then, in fact, beat the Bears. And that is what I am basing my pick on here. Texans minus one over the Bears. Pull out your hammers, kids. Pull out your hammers. Smash. Texans minus one over the Lions. I think, really, I really think that Deshaun Watson is going to be very upset. He's going to be very angry. The dude's been playing with a chip on his shoulder all season long. And after having a loss like that, Deshaun's going to come out angry. You do not want to go against an angry Deshaun Watson. The Bears can't move the ball. Texans win this one easily. Lay the one point. Hammer that. Texans minus one over the Bears. Moving on, another noon kickoff for you. The Green Bay Packers, led by Aaron Rodgers, maybe the best quarterback in football besides Patrick Mahomes right now. They are taking on the Lions. The Lions, Texans are better than the Lions. I think the Packers are better than the Texans. If so facto, the Packers should beat the Lions. They're laying seven and a half here. That means they got to win by two scores. That seems like nothing. Aaron Rodgers and that team, Devontae, Av- Devontae Adams, Lazard. Who else they got over there? They got uh, Valdez Scantling. Yeah. That's a fun name. Marquez Valdez Scantling. He's my favorite name to say. Juan Valdez? Juan Valdez. The, the Exxon Valdez. Oil spill. Makes you yeah. think of that. Makes you think of that. May the Ooh. oil rest in peace. And all of those birds that it took with it. So we are anti-oil spill on this thing here. But uh, here we go. We're going to lay the seven and a half. You take Aaron Rodgers. You take the Packers. The Lions are not very good. I know they got that upset win. Yeah, take that upset win. Whatever. You can have it. Who cares? Nobody cares. I don't care. Nobody cares. You're going to get rolled. Packers are going to win this by double digits. Pull out those hammers, ladies and gents. And smash. Packers. Minus seven and a half over the Lions. Our final regular pick for you, the New Orleans Saints. We have ridden the Saints. We have marched with the Saints ever since Drew Brees went down. Eight and oh in the last two seasons when Drew Brees is out. We are going to continue marching with the Saints until this does not work. The Saints lay in seven against the Philadelphia Eagles. The Philadelphia Eagles, they benched Carson Wentz. Carson, they got dogs barking. They don't like the Eagles either. The dogs don't like the Eagles either. But Carson Wentz, Wentz on the bench. Carson Wentz will not be starting. Jalen Hurts, the rookie out of Alabama. Not Alabama. He went to Alabama. Then he went to Oklahoma. The rookie boy. from Oklahoma, Jalen Hurts, is going to get his start against a Saints defense that may murder him. The Saints defense may commit murder against Jalen Hurts. Terrible game to start your career with. You're going to throw this kid to the Wolves. This kid's going to get embarrassed. The Saints are going to manhandle this defense offensive line. 
This is, usually it's the Saints offense. This time the Saints defense is equally yeah. as good as their offense. I think the Saints blow the Eagles out here. The Eagles are in absolute disarray. Easy bet here. Saints minus seven over the Eagles. Pull up those hammers. Saints minus seven over the Eagles. We're going to smash that one. Now, Felipe, let's move on to our ho, 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 Pale. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, 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 oh. It's Dante and Felipe Claus here for you, and we're going to make you an absolute fortune if this one hits. You're going to put down $10 in this parlay, and if it hits, uh-huh. you are going to turn that $10 into $193. Ooh. What a deal. What the ho-ho-ho parlay stands for, Dante? What is that? Well, I'll tell you. High-scoring team over. High-scoring team over. High scoring team over ho, ho, ho. Oh. That's how you get rich kids. We're going to start off with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Tom Brady taking on the Vikings. That's a money line, straight up win for them. All they got to do is go out and win to make your bet hit. Tampa Bay, money line over the Vikings. Then you got to go the over in that game. Bucks, Vikings over 51 and a half. I think there's going to be a ton of score in there. Over 51 and a half. Chiefs, money line against the Dolphins. I think Patrick Mahomes is going to light up this Miami team. It's been a bit overachieving as of late. Chargers, Falcons, we're going to go with the over in that game of 49 and a half. I think it's going to be a fairly high scoring game. The Chargers like to put up a lot of points, especially after getting shut down by the Patriots last week. I think that the Chargers come out, they put up some points. I think the Falcons also put up some points as well over the 49 and a half, easily there. Then we're going to go with another money line pick, another high scoring team, the Buffalo Bills. Josh Allen, a lot of people are saying the Steelers, they were a little bit overrated going into this. I think the Steelers are a good team. I think the Bills are on a hot streak right now. You ride the hot hand. Bills, money line against the Steelers. And then in that same game, Bills, Steelers, I think it'll be a little bit high in, high scoring compared to what we've seen from the Steelers. 46 and a half is the line right there. I'm going to go over on that. Over 46 and a half in the Bills Steelers. To recap our ho, ho, ho parlay for you one last time. So listen closely. Bucks money line. Bucks Vikings over 51 and a half. Chiefs money line. Chargers Falcons over 49 and a half. Bills money line and Bills Steelers over 46 and a half. You hit this one, $10 turns into $193. You will be very, very rich. To recap our original picks, we're going to go Texans minus one over the Bears, Packers minus seven and a half over the Lions, and the New Orleans Saints minus seven over the Eagles. Congratulations in advance on becoming a very rich man or woman for following Dante and Felipe's advice. You can thank us later and always remember to bet responsibly. Thank you to Firehouse Subs. Go eat you some Firehouse Subs. And don't forget, kids, to always bet the house.